Okay, let's continue. To standardize a normal random variable x to a standard normal random variable z, the following formula is used. z equals to x minus mean divided by standard deviation, where this is the symbol of mean and standard deviation. Okay, so usually in normal distribution, we will get x distribute normal distribution with mean and variance. Okay, so we need to change to the standard normal random variable z where uh, 0 is a mean and variance is 1 because of this is only the mean and variance that we can read from the table, from the statistical book. Okay, so for this example, so first example, given x is a normal distribution with mean 100 and Variance 16. Okay. So now find PX greater than 104. Okay. So first, the things that we need to do is we standardize from X, we change to Z by using the formula. So this is the capital letter, Z in capital letter. Okay. 104 minus with a uh, mean. So 100. Okay. Divide by. Uh, standard deviation so because of the variance here is 16 so we need to taking square root of 16 to get the standard deviation and then we need to simplify this uh, this value so 104 minus 100 divided by 16 will be equal to 1 okay so from the table if you look at the normal distribution table so, we will get the value of Pz greater than 1 equals to 0 0.1587. Okay. So, because of Z equals to 1 when we do in the bell shape. So, 1 is around here. So, the area that equivalent to the probability is here. Which is, is 0 0.1587. Okay, so next, for example 1, B. So, Px less than and equals to 92. So, first thing that we need to do is, we need to standardize by taking 92 minus with the mean 100 divided by 16. Okay, and then you will get Pz less than and equals to negative 2 okay now if we look at the bell shape because so we need to know where is the area if we take in z less than negative 2 so let's say negative 2 is here because of 0 is in the middle and here this side is positive z so here is negative z so we got negative 2 and then z less than which is this area here so now we need to find z less than equals to negative 2. But we cannot read z negative number from the table. So we need to change or uh, reflect to the positive side. So we change into z equals to 2. And this area is equals to this area which is the greater than, uh, greater than 2. So this area is equivalent to z greater than equals to so now we can read from the table so we will get 0 0.0228 okay now let's do example 1c so we have x less than p x less than 115 so first thing is we need to standardize so by taking 115 minus with 100 Divided by standard deviation, which is 16. So, when we calculate, we will get Pz less than 3.75. Okay, now, if we look at the bell shape, because of all the normal distribution, the probability is equivalent to the area under this bell shape. So, that's why we need to, to do this bell shape. So, 3.75 is positive number, which is around here. Okay, and then this area, Z less than 3.75 is, is here. 
So means that this area is greater than 0 0.5 because of half of the bell shape when we shaded the area uh, half of this bell shape were given 0 0.5 so this area is greater than 0 0.5 but we cannot find it in the table because of the z is less than so means that we need to find the area by taking one which is the area of all the the under this bell shape one minus with the area that greater than 3.75 okay now we can read the great uh, the uh, value if we taking z greater than 3.75 so from the table we will find that this will be equal to 0 0.00009 okay now we take 1 minus with 0 0.00009 equals to 0 0.99991 okay so this is the answer okay and then 1d so px greater than 87 so first we need to standardize by taking 87 minus with 100 divided by 16 okay then we calculate this so we will get z greater than negative 3.25 okay now if we look at the bell shape so the negative number z negative 3.25 and the area is greater than so means that is here so this area is greater than 0 0.5 but we just can get this area by reflected reflected to the positive side and taking at the z 3.25 so this area the shaded area is equivalent to this area but we cannot find this area directly from the table because of z cannot read from the less side less less than side so we need we can just read the z greater than so we take 1 minus with pz greater than 3.25 okay now when we read from the table so we got 0 0.00058 so the answer is 0 0.99942 Okay, now let's try this example. Okay, given x with a normal distribution where mean equals to 60 and variance equals to 4 squared. So, means that your standard deviation here is equals to 4 because of uh, the given questions here give in this form. So, 4 squared. So, means that your, uh, your standard deviation equals to 4. So, if we get the questions like this where we need to find the value of k instead of finding the probability but the probability is given here so the things that we need to do first is you just standardize where we need to mine k we need to take in k, take k minus with mean mean is 60 okay divide by standard deviation for will be equal to 0 0.1 okay so uh, this is special case because when you look at the probability where it has only one or two decimal places so we need to look at the table four from the normal distribution table so uh, pz greater than k minus 60 over 4 equals to 0 0.1 so we need to estimate where is the k minus 60 over 4 lying at okay so because of this is z greater than means that the area is at your right hand side and then the probability is 0 0.1 so means that k minus 60 over 4 is around here and the area is 0 0.1 means that it's on your right hand side okay now if we look at in the table 
the the value of z that give you probability 0 0.1 is 1.2816 okay so means that this is equivalent this is equal so we can take k minus 60 over 4 equals to 1.2816 so k equals to 65.1264 so this is the answer okay now we try this example b so px greater than k equals to 0 0.7 so first we need to standardize by changing from x to z so we take k minus with 60 divided by 4 equals to 0 0.7 so this we don't change anything except x and k so because of we need to standardize okay now we need to estimate this and uh, this z and this is the value of z where when we shade the area that greater than this number, so it will give you probability 0 0.7. Okay, so if we shade half of this bell shape, it means that the probability here is 0 0.5. But because of the probability is greater than 0 0.5, so we need a bit more. So means that it will add 0 0.2 so it will give you 0 0.7 if we shaded the area that greater than this number so k minus 60 over 4 is around here and we know that it is negative number of set but if we try to find in the table we cannot find z that negative so what we can do is we need to change from the negative side into the positive side so if we change from negative to positive so we need to taking negative outside the bracket okay to make sure it is uh, opposite sign okay and then 0 0.7 if we shade it here so the 0 0.7 if we want to shade on the reflect uh, bell shape so 0 0.7 is here and this is the value that we need to find where is the z that give you the area that greater than this number will give you 0 0.3 okay because we cannot read the less than side so hmm. We can just directly uh, write z greater than this number negative k minus 60 over 4 equals to it's actually 1 minus with 0 0.7. But because of we already know it is 0 0.3, so we just put 0 0.3. And then when you read from the table, table 4, uh, from table 4. Because of the probability here is only one decimal places. So we look at the table 4. So we know that when Pz greater than 0 0.5244 will give you 0 0.3. So now this is equivalent. Where negative in the bracket k minus 60 over 4 is equal to 0 0.5244. So means that. The actual value of z here that is negative is negative 0 0.5244 where our aim is we need to find the value of k. So, to get the value of k, so we can write k minus 60 over 4 equals to negative 0 0.5244. Okay, and then when you calculate k, you will get k equals to 557.9024. So, all the value of x or value of k here 
We must be positive. Okay, now we continue number 2C. So, Px less than k equals to 0 0.2. So, now we need to standardize. So, Pz less than k minus 60 over 4 equals to 0 0.2. Okay, now we need to estimate where is k minus 60 over 4. Where when we shade the, the area that less than, so we got 0 0.2. Okay, so we know that the k minus 60 over 4 is here because so when we shade the area that less than, so it will give you 0 0.2. But because of we already know that this is a negative number, so we need to change to the, to the positive side. So we take in negative outside the bracket and then the area that 0 0.2 which is equivalent to this area is here. 0 0.2 so means that when we want to find the value of z uh, when we want to find the value of k so we taking z greater than negative k minus 60 over 4 equals to 0 0.2 okay now we can read from the table table 4 so we find that p z greater than 0 0.8416 equals to 0 0.2 okay now if this is equal because all is already same so means that this is equal so we take k minus 60 over 4 equals to negative 0 0.8416 because so we calculate so we will get K equals get 56.6336. Okay, now we do number 2D. So, PX less than K equals to 0 0.8. So, first we need to standardize Z less than K minus 60 over 4 equals to 0 0.8. Okay, now we need to estimate in the bell shape. Where is the value of k minus 60 over 4? Where when we shade the area that less than that number, it will give you 0 0.8. So, means that k minus 60 over 4 is around here. Because so when we shade this area, it's equals to 0 0.8. So, now we cannot read the z that less than. So, we just can read the z that greater than. So, the area that greater than this number will give you 0 0.2. So, we can just directly write like this. So, z greater than this number, k minus 60 over 4, will be equal to 0 0.2. So, from the table 4, from table 4, so we find that pz greater than 0 0.8416 will give you 0 0.2. So, this is equivalent to the K minus 60 over 4 will be equals to 0 0.8416. So, K equals to 63.3664.